Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do something cool and show you how you can trigger uh, a sound in Spark AR. So what I'm going to do is something simple. Uh, we're going to do when the user opens, users open their mouth, we're going to make kind of a funny, uh, cool uh, Donald Duck sound effect. All right, so that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. I think it's going to be funny and it will be useful because you can use it uh, to create different kind of, uh, to enhance your effect using uh, sound effects. All right, so the first thing you need is actually a sound, sound effect. I actually downloaded the free one, which I'm going to use. But the thing is that in order for uh, to the sound effect to, uh, should, if you, should, <laughs> sorry, to import the sound effect, you need to make sure that it's in the right format basically. So I actually download the WAV file and let's see here it is. I'm actually using a software called Audacity, which is a free software and this is my main software that I use for audio editing and you can download it for free. So just type Audacity in Google and you can download this software yourself to edit uh, sound, sound effects and music. All right. Uh, so this is the sound. Oh, bah, bah. It's a cute one. I'm just going to short it. I'm going to tab drag, just trim it. Uh, sorry, here. Cute. Maybe I'm going to quickly. Okay, so I'm not going to teach you about this uh, software, but I'm going to do a few things uh, to increase it. Ooh, increase the sound a bit. Bye bye. All right. So what we need to make sure here. Uh, the first thing, this is already uh, monophonic, but if it's stereo, what I need to do is uh, tap, I'm oh, sorry, not tap this one, tap this arrow, and uh, uh, we'll have a uh, split stereo to mono. This is the first thing you need to do if you have a stereo uh, soundtrack. So you first need to separate uh, this. After you do this, you need to uh, uh, erase one of the tracks by just clicking the X button. You're going to have two of them. And you're just going to click one so you have only one track they're going to be the same because each one is going to be a mono soundtrack okay that's the first thing this is already mono so i don't need to do this the second thing i need to do is make sure the format is 16 bit so this is 32 and change to 16 bit and the other thing i need to check that the rate is 44 100 or lower so uh it's already 44 by 100 and make sure it's also project rate is also 44 by 100 100 so this is actually good it's mono uh 16 bit 44 by 100 so i can actually export it as an m4a file to do this i just need to go to file export and have the action option to export audio all right so what i did i already imported uh, the audio file uh, duck.m4a I already got rename it to uh, duck and as you can see here on the right side if I tap it appears under the audio folder automatically I can hear it rubber so this is the file that I want to be played when users open their mouth now uh, there are a few things I need to do now uh, I'm already here in the patch editor because I'm going to control this in the patch editor so the first thing I need to do is recognize when users open their mouth. So in order to do this, I need a face recognition, face tracker. So I'm going to add it to the scene using add object, face tracker. I'm adding it here, face tracker. I'm going to call it face one. Now what I want to do is uh, drag the face to the patch editor. So we can have the face here, face option here. And now we want the option to recognize mouth opening. So right click on the patch, tap mouth, and you're gonna have mouth open option. So we're gonna add this page. As you can see, mouth open, we're gonna have a page that outputs mouth open. In other tutorial, I show you how to use mouth openness. Now we're gonna use mouth open. We're gonna add a patch. Now this accept an input of a face, so we're going to connect the face by tapping on this one, connecting the line to the face. Now we can recognize mouth opening of the user. All right. Now uh, 
we need here several things. The first thing we need to do is to create a speaker that will play the audio file. And to do this, we need to click Add Object, either scroll down here, or just type SP, and you're going to see Speaker. Speaker in the scene for connecting playback controllers to. We need to add a speaker. So let's click Insert, and we're going to have Speaker here added to the scene. Let's call it Voice, because this one will play the voice. Alright, so we have a speaker. We have an audio file. So back to the patch editor. Here we need uh, a few components, four in general. So the first thing we need is something called single clip. Single clip controller. Play, stop, or loop single audio clip at a time. Exactly what we need. So we're going to add patch and add this one. Let's put it here. Second thing we need to do is have uh, the audio, oh yeah, uh, I think the audio, oh no, I, we need the audio, the audio pad, so we need actually this one. So what we're going to do, we need to bring this audio onto the patch area because we need to use it uh, to connect it uh, to the audio player. So we're going to tap this one audio and we have the option to drag it so now we have the auto clip available for us now the other thing we need is uh, something to play the audio this is an called an audio player combines the audio clip in your project and setting in the audio controller patch of your choice with this patch to play audio in your scene so we're going to add this one So you see, the audio player needs a controller because this only plays, but it needs something to control it. So we have option to play, stop, and loop. So we connect this notch here, controller, to the controller of the audio player. Nice. Now, the duck goes here. You see, the duck outputs the audio clip, and the audio player needs to know what Ask yourself, what should I play? You need to play the duck voice. So we connect it here. Now, the other player uh, outputs audio, but the audio needs to go where? Right to the speaker, to the voice speaker. This one. Oh, sorry, we don't, we don't drag it. The only thing you need to do is uh, tap audio. Sorry, my mistake. We need to tap here, go to the speaker tap audio because the speaker needs an input of the audio which it needs to play so we connect this to audio yeah nice uh, so we have things ready but one thing is missing the mouth open creates a pulse which should once trigger play uh, activate the play in the controller which will tell the, uh, tells the audio player to play this track, which will be output to the speaker. So what we need to do is connect the mouth open to play. And we're going to have automatically added a patch, a pulse patch. As you can see, it's already working. <coughs> Once the user opens their mouth, a pulse is emitted, turn on, which activate the play of the controller, which connected to the audio player that tells it to play the duck audio clip, which is sent to the speaker, to the audio option in the speaker. So I'm just gonna arrange it so it will be easier for you to see everything. So a few components. There's also an option to create auto playback controller to play things, but for this example, using the patch editor, I actually don't need it. So that works by itself. Dragging uh, the face, connecting the face to the 
to the mouth open patch. Mouth open connects to a pulse, which connected to the single clip controller, which is connected to the audio player, which accepts an audio clip, which is just dragged from here to the patch editor. And then this is connected to the speaker audio property, which I created by tapping this here, this arrow, and then it's played. Now I personally use it uh, using code, and it's actually, uh, I think the second or third time that I actually do it in patch, that's why I a bit forgot how to do it, uh, but that's how you do it using patch. Once we get to scripting, of course, I'm showing you everything how it is done with scripting, uh, which is the way I prefer to do it, but of course programming is a bit more advanced, so right now we're just going to focus on the patch editor to achieve this, and it's more simple for non-programmers uh, to create very simple effects with voice. Uh, of course, you can use any voice you like. Yeah, you can put anything there, but I think it's kind of cute. <coughs> Mouth open and there's a skewed voice coming up. So that it's for this video. I'm going to keep it short. So uh, if you know want to know how to do this, here it is. This is the patch. Again, an audio file, MP M4A file, <coughs> and uh, face tracker, speaker in the scene, and a few patches connected together in order to make it work. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, this, come on, Baba. <coughs> Stop it. <laughs> uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Air Critic, and press the bell button to get notified when I release new tutorials. I'm going to make many more and we get to more exotic and interesting uh, uh, creative ideas as we move along. So this is just for you, uh, those who are just starting out and searching for uh, some tutorials for beginners, but I'm going to make much more advanced things that you're surely going to like. So again, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye everyone.